is up guys, your boy Blood Griff coming back to you at it again with SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Last time, SmackDown invaded Raw apparently. Don't know why. But they jumped me after my submission match with Flair and I got laid out. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got dropped by John Cena. Only to, for them to pretty much brutalize old man Ric Flair over there and drop him with a choke slam outside the ring. You know, normally, I'd come out here on Raw, in front of the entire world, flash this, World Heavyweight Title, and once again make clear to all you people, all the people watching at home, and all the guys in the back, that I am the best in the business. Yeah. That's what I'd normally do, and whether you love it or you hate it, you all tune in to see it. But that's not gonna happen tonight. See, last week, two gutless nobodies from SmackDown thought they could come to Raw and take out Triple H and Ric Flair, the two greatest champions this business has ever seen. But just like everything SmackDown does, they only got it half right. As you can see, I'm still standing. Well, thank goodness for that. But Ric Flair was not so lucky. John Cena crushed his larynx with that chain. And Big Show nearly broke his damn neck with that chokeslam. Look at this man. He can't style. Hell. He can barely profile. Cena, Big Show. I don't care who you are or where you come from. You do not lay your hands on this man. This man is a 16-time world champion. He's a kiss-stealing, willing, dealing, son of a gun. He should be riding in limousines, not ambulances. And now, all those desperate housewives in this arena will have to go home to their fat, impotent husbands and cry themselves to sleep because Space Mountain is closed for repairs. It's so sad, JR. Oh, it's sad, all right. Why don't you take a minute and pull yourself together, man? Well, look who it is. I wonder if he's here to gloat. I doubt that, King. He took his Damn right, I'm here to gloat. Week, just <laughs> as sure as Triple H did. Well, Triple H, I guess you got some idea how I felt when you and Flair took out Shelton Benjamin two weeks ago. That's a completely different story. Shelton Benjamin ran his mouth, and he got what was coming to him. John Cena and the Big Show had no business with me, or you, or the Nature Boy. And speaking of you, I've just about had it with your... Okay. What the hell is that? Hold that thought, You two had better get on the same page. Because I'm not going to stand for SmackDown superstars invading my show. By the authority of the board of directors, 
you're going to have a sanctioned match against them next week at SummerSlam. Oh boy. But that doesn't mean we're going to wait until then to even the score. This Thursday, you're going to SmackDown to return the thing. Hey, what a great idea, Bischoff. I would have never thought of that. I don't need your advice. And I don't need your permission to do whatever I damn well please. And if you think you can order me around, think again. And as for you, you can forget about being on the same page with me. We're not even in the same damn library, understand? You come to SmackDown if you want, but you better not get in my way. Well, I don't always agree with general hmm. manager Eric Bischoff's actions, but I have to give him credit. He's arranged a SummerSlam match against the Big Show and John Cena and ordered an immediate counterattack on SmackDown to boot. Man, JR, still got him holding the ropes. Raw superstars are headed to SmackDown. I'll tell you what, SmackDown is going to be sorry they ever messed with Raw. Anyway, <laughs> they did put their hands on me, so I gotta go to SmackDown. <laughs> I ain't gonna let that slide. Hello and welcome to another edition of SmackDown. I'm Michael Cole along with Taz and Parker. The locker room is still buzzing about that attack by John Cena and The Big Show on some top Raw superstars last week. And can you believe that the board of directors has sanctioned a cross-brand grudge match for this Sunday at SummerSlam? But that's not all, Cole. Some of those Raw superstars have said they're going to show up here tonight to get some payback. Wait. Wait, is that... is that... Is that Triple H and Flair in the ring right now? I, uh, am the game. Woo! And tonight, uh, I'm coming to SmackDown, uh, to find the guys who kicked my ass. Uh, and made my father, the nature boy, cry like a little girl. Say, uh, Nature, why do they still call you the Nature Boy, huh? Aren't you about 90? Maybe they should call you Father Time. But seriously, yo, no one can say that SmackDown didn't make an impact on Raw last Monday. We did just what we wanted to, and that was punk out the best that they got. Let's see now. 10 for Triple H. <laughs> 16 for Flair. Raw is never going to forget the day SmackDown took out 26 world champions in one shot. And now we're supposed to be scared because Triple H is leading a posse to SmackDown? <laughs> Please. He shows up here, he's going to get more of the same. They can't see me. Here's the thing. left me alive. You didn't hospitalize me nothing like that. superstars are here. Here we go. This is going to be a rocket buster. That, that was mistake number one. Like, uh, I don't know, 
Nobody wants to lose. Or how about this one? Wow, I'm telling you, I don't think that chair's gonna be good for anything after this match. He missed though. So, you got any predictions? Uh, you know who you think's gonna win this one? No way. I've seen you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. Oh my God! I think the referee's out, Taz. Okay, they gotta start getting sturdy at refs, Cole. This kind of thing seems to happen all the time. Someone's looking for a weapon here, Cole. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure he can spare it, Cole? This one's gonna keep him. He ain't taking He's taking his opponent to school with that two by four wrapped with barbed wire. Seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. Well, if they didn't want them using the chair like that, they should have left the line around. Come oh, on, get your ass off. You know what? This scene, he spends a lot of time running his mouth, Cole. If it's that's not what the chair was meant to be used for. I saw some pretty nasty stuff on the ring earlier, Cole. You can really get your bell rung by the ring bell. Ding dong! Ding dong! Oh my, there's the submission hold! He's in the driver's seat now! No doubt, Cole, if your opponent lets you lock that in... Yeah, he ain't having Unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat. That's not how the ring bell was intended to be used. Uh oh. Looks like he's got something big playing. Pedigree. They don't get the big on that pole. This is a big risk. Well pay off. Nice quick down. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? That wasn't even two. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. That's all Yeah, it's choked out. out. Good night. Here are your winners. Triple H. Uh, uh, a bit of retribution in play. Hey, oh, hey, look, buddy. Man, I understand why you're teaming up with Triple H tonight. John Cena and Big Show have got to be taught a lesson, and you guys owe them. But don't get too cozy with them. I'll be back on Raw tomorrow. And I've got some unfinished business with Triple H and Ric Flair that I plan to take care of. Okay. You know I respect you. And I hope you've got my back the way I had yours. Hey. If you let them punk me out, you'll be making a big mistake. Okay, son. I'll keep that in mind. But right now, I gotta focus on Cena and show. 
For real. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds, Triple H. It's all about the game, and how you play it. It's all about control, and if you can take it, it's all about your death. And if you can play it, it's all about pain. And the tag team partner from Virginia, Key. I can't believe they countered that one. Damn, Triple H's already failing me already. Man, is there even going to be anything left of these superstars oh, by the time go. they're done? There we go. Not if they oh. have their way, King. Mm. Everything they came in here with tonight Seems is going to be left in that ring. Right out of here. I hope these fans appreciate it, JR. These superstars are putting it all on the line for them right here tonight. Like, you want to tag out? No, because we need the work to actually do. Because, you know, I can get the job done. his own biggest fan. How come all of these rappers can't talk about anything except how great they are? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not. This hole before, JR. This brings I'm back some bad memories. <laughs> I can understand why, King. Mm. I can't even imagine the pain being inflicted. Yeah, tag me in. Look at this. Look at this. You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here. Yeah, well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not going to end well. There's the tag, JR. Oh, yes, oh. His opponent's down, and now he's sharing a piece of his mind. He's going <laughs> to have to eat those words by the end of this match, JR. The rhythm's still locked on this, you know. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There aren't many superstar. Excellent count. What thing presence? Oh, no. What's how you boy back in? Go ahead. Clothes on for your troubles. 
These fans love confidence in their superstar. And that's One. just what they're seeing I guess so. from him here tonight. Oh. Well, he can do this until the cows come home, but that's not going to win him the match. So who do you think is going to win this match, JR? I'm not even going to hazard a guess, King. Yep. These superstars yep. yep. are so unpredictable. That would be just about the most foolish thing I could possibly do. I'm doing a way better job than Shrimp Lace could. What do you think of the match so far, JR? I think these superstars are putting on one hell of an exhibition here tonight, King. I can't wait to see what happens next. There's the reversal! You've got to give Big Show some credit, JR. He oh. might be slow and clumsy, but at least he's not very bright. Oh, you're a spring king. I'd love to see you try to... This is a mistake, JR. Everyone knows that overconfidence costs yeah. superstars matches. That might Stop be tricky, good, bro. but all I see is a very Two. confident superstar who's got everything going his way. Three. <laughs> no! Sweet dreams! Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh no. The ref dead. <laughs> the ref dead on the ground. Oh no. This has been a hotly He sure is, JR. And I think he got all of that finisher. Not another brand of sports Ta tag entertainment tag out me. there you that can compare with Raw. Now, if only we could get that through Michael Cole and Tanner. Oh, you thought you could? Oh, then they'd stop running oh, you have to jump on me. No, you don't, sir. You have nothing. Oh, my gosh. This could be the finisher. Yeah, you got nothing but a beatdown from your way. Here he comes. Oh, see the blood gift. <laughs> Just gonna go from the <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, I both been on purpose. It looks like they decided to oh, no. the down a bit here. And this could be a big mistake, Jalen. You don't ever want to give an opponent time to recover. Get his ass. But you're not gonna do yourself much good in the match if you let yourself get so tired either. Get his ass up. Oh, come on. John Cena sure is one of the most exciting. And there's another something for the crowd. The best superstars never ignore their fans. The best superstars also finish off their opponents instead of giving them time to recover. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wonder how far these superstars are willing to go to get the win here tonight. As oh. far oh. as it takes, King. One. We've seen them put their bodies on the line time and time Two. again. And I'm sure tonight will be no different. Three. Four. Oh, no. my God. That, that always happens.
boy. You might want to close your eyes, JR. Why? This one could get ugly. You're damn right it could. It could get both damn. Of you ugly. Da damn. And that's what this business is all about. Three. It's not ballet. Either. He countered that and made it look one. easy. You're not going to win a match by insulting your opponent. No. Two. But having the crowd behind you can certainly get the adrenaline. Oh. Three. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. And this is not going to be blessing. Oh, damn. Triple S is going to hit that. This is great, JR. He's really letting his opponent have it. I guess he is. But I'd like to see a little less sizzle and a little more sink. Or two. Might be the greatest. He turned the tables on his opponent with that one. If you root around under the ring long enough, you're bound to find a weapon of some or another. What? Go ahead. Oh, oh. Two. Uh, yeah, go for a pinfall when you're not the legal person. Oh, that's great. Triple H, take care of that. Superstars this fired up. I don't think they even considered the possibility. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Man who can't be seen. Getting dropped. Getting dropped. We could have a pinball here, JR. One, two. I can't believe oh he God. thought he was going to get the pin. No, I was going to get the pin. Nope, nope. Thank you. Yes, yes, he did something. That is, he helped the team. That is a surprise. Chapter Benjamin is back. And he's taking it right to Flair and Triple H. Oh, damn. The match just ended. Yo, re relax. Shit. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen tomorrow night on Raw. I'll tell you one thing though. I'd hate to be in Shelton Benjamin's shoes when Triple H gets his hands on him. Lacking though. <laughs> Called me out here because I called you out here tonight on Raw because I want to give you a very rare and valuable present. Oh boy. Two of them actually. Oh my gosh, two presents, JR. It must be his birthday. Imagine celebrating your birthday with Triple H, JR. That's gotta be great. I'm pretty sure it's not his birthday, and I've for damn sure seen the kind of presents that Triple H gives out. The first is a thank you from me to you for watching my back in our match against John Cena and Big Show at SummerSlam. Of course, I didn't need your help, but you made my job a little bit easier. Your job. I can't remember the last time Triple H. I carried this one. team. What are you talking about? So that's one. And now that that's out of the way, here's number two. Last night at SummerSlam, you didn't do a damn thing when Shelton Benjamin ran into the ring and attacked.
attacked Ric Flair and I with a steel Bro, jab. my back was turned. I didn't see him coming. <laughs> Normally, that's the kind of mistake a guy like me would make sure a guy like you regretted for the rest of his life. Uh-oh. Here it comes. <laughs> so here's your second present. A free pass. Out of my ring and out of my life. But I'm warning you. This is a one-time offer. So don't blow it. Do the right thing and don't step between Shelton Benjamin and the ass kicking he's going to get tonight. Triple H let him off the hook, JR. If he were smart, he'd do the right thing and walk away. Smart. I have to agree. That may be the if Triple H was smart, he would have offered him the one thing the championship. Right but now he may have a choice to walk away. But Shelton Benjamin's certainly not off the hook. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm not. He had my back, to be fair. He had my back before all this. So I right, thank you guys for watching. We're in this right here. And tune in next time to see what happens next. Because I'm not done with Triple H. I'm not done with the World Heavyweight Champion. And, uh, yeah. That, that sledgehammer that, that he hit me with, yeah, I took that way too personally. And, uh, I'm gonna make sure he gets that receipt. <clears throat> you know? That receipt's coming. <laughs>